Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Blue Star Defense 5 Steam. In this episode I'm going to be starting off with a sniper monkey because I'm kind of interested in seeing how well they do. Uh, because now that it's mastery everything's got an extra layer on it which means this first round of blue bloops um, is actually decently suited for a sniper monkey because they can pop through the blue balloon or whatever. Um, I also have the specialty building on the sniper monkey so that should be nice. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna get these two the full metal jacket, um, so I can pop through four layers, potentially like five because of its specialty building. Um, but uh, I'm I'm really not a huge fan of snipers in general because they usually don't do well enough. Like they usually don't have a fast enough attack speed um, to really handle everything. So I'm interested. Uh, I'm interested in seeing how this will work. Just two snipers, and also I have all the token upgrades, well, you know, most of them, a lot of them, um, so that's what's helping it uh, work, I guess. Um, I'm also going to throw down an ice tower, because I know I'm going to need that to slow down the balloons. Um, obviously an arc wind would be great, um, but I'm going to need something more. I'm going to need the, uh, the village to give them extra speed. Um, I shouldn't need camo detection for a while, so that should be nice. Um, really giving that the deep freeze doesn't really mean much. Um, there we go, that was nice. Um, and then of course the ice tower in general is also going to be helping uh, just pop balloons because that's what it does too. Um, and uh, the tower, the village thing, uh, it should be, should be relatively important. Uh, uh, are they gonna be slipping by? Almost, but no. Cool. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna need to put this down here. Ah, but that doesn't actually help as much as I was hoping it would. <laughs> Cause I was thinking that I would be able to get attack speed really quickly, but I, I really can't get attack speed that quickly. Or the extra attack speed. Uh, let me throw down a second sniper. Full metal jacket. And I probably should have got the extra attack speed first. Because that's a little bit more important right now. Um, so, let's see. Sorry, I'm texting and that's going to be distracting me. Uh, which is actually... <laughs> uh, 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 this... Hold on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Oh, right. Um, this is actually my second attempt. Uh, at this level because the first attempt I was distracted and didn't realize that a balloon, a balloon, got past my uh, defenses and oh no 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 okay uh, no no oh, no okay there we go <laughs> um, I'm gonna be well I might as well just give it night vision here just gonna say uh, I might as well just give the the village upgrade for the ice tower but let's see. Um, I'm gonna need to upgrade these, but that is kind of expensive. Um, and yeah, this is definitely where the ice tower is helpful. So let's see, because it was the ceramic that got me. Um, but this time, I'll have uh, snipers to help me out, so that should be alright. Um, ceramic shouldn't be as big of an issue for these snipers, but. Um, of course, there's still going to be some issue in uh, dang three grow balloons. Nice! Is able to pop it. Um, yeah, so this is not going to go well. Let me slow this down again. Uh, let me get a second ice tower. I would really like the Arctic Wind, but that is really expensive. Um, and also, I just realized that I'm not using any banana farms. Uh, that could definitely be really helpful if I actually use it. Um, not only with the money, but also with the uh, the pro farmer upgrade to knock the balloons back to the beginning of the track. Um, so as soon as I'm able to, I'm gonna put it right about there, right there. Uh, and then I'm gonna put it here and there. There we go. So that's gonna help me um, get a lot of cash back. <laughs> um, and let's see. I don't really need the camo detection, I guess. I suppose. Um, 
Let's see, because I do want to upgrade this more, so I'm actually getting more money out of it. Um, and let's throw down a third ice tower, just to be sure that I'm, uh, I'm stopping these blooms well enough. Um, and then I'm going to need something to pop the Moab pretty soon, so that could be dangerous. Um, oh, that's right, and it doesn't affect the zebras and stuff. Uh, which is fine, because um, I do also have this, uh, what should we call it, this um, banana farmer to help out with that. So, let's see, I'm going to have to upgrade you, and then i um, got to upgrade the other one. Uh, I'm really not that confident in this strategy. I think I may actually lose again, because um, I lost the previous time, which I was using some tax shooters as my defenses on that one. But, um... So yeah, uh, I'm not super confident in this strategy, but I, I really do want to test out these snipers. And uh, if I lose with these snipers, I'll probably just fast forward in, through my new strategy. Well, not new, but my next strategy. And then I'll just, uh, you know, make it that. So it'll be, oh jeez, I <laughs> forgot how many were going to be there. Um, yep, I... Probably won't make this. Let's see. Um, faster firing. That's helpful, but no. Is it gonna make it? Oh, nice. It did make that. Um, let's just throw down a bunch of. Oops. Ah, uh, geez. Not really. I'm not gonna make it. Nope. Alright. So, snipers, at least the way I did it, will not work uh, on impoppable. <laughs> on impoppable mastery. I really should have seen that coming. Um, I mean, if snipers never really work out for me, otherwise, I. I'm gonna fast forward and I'll probably just go through my usual boomerang thrower strategy, so uh, yeah, I'll see you there. Alright, so I think this should be working. <laughs> I'm using the uh, record narration tool from the Movie Maker editing software thing. Um, uh, hopefully, I should be also be able to add music over this and you know, make it quieter so you can actually hear what I'm saying. Uh, but anyways, so for this level, or what should we call it, uh, track, I ended up using the regular boomerang thrower strategy, basically, um, where one could argue that the reason why I won so much better uh, on this attempt um, is because I used the banana farms a lot sooner and was able to uh, amass a huge amount of cash in-game and be able to build whatever I wanted and all that. But the really big key factor to that whole strategy is that you need a tower that can defend you while you're building your banana farm. Because the banana farm does make, I mean, it does technically sort of pay for itself, but it's not actually free. So uh, you do need something that can defend you uh, without having to spend a lot of money on it. And the boomerang thrower, especially with all the specialty building upgrades and the token upgrades, the boomerang thrower is really good. Like it's not very expensive and it can pop so many blooms. It's crazy. Um, so then that's why the boomerang thrower is very useful to use right at the beginning so that you can get some really solid steady defense and then just throw down a uh, banana farm pretty early. I didn't even upgrade it for a little while because I wanted to use the village to make sure that I upgraded it at a lower cost and all that. Um, so again you could either say boomerang throwers are really powerful and that's why I won or the banana farm is super powerful so that's why I won or a combination of the two and all that. Um, plus the track, of course, wasn't very difficult. It was really just those snipers that, uh, were not very good. <laughs> I mean, I really, I really hope I've learned my lesson this time and I don't go on to do another sniper only run or something like that. But anyways, um, so the boomerang thrower, uh, of course with the monkey village to give it camo detection, the bionic boomer, I should mention specifically the bionic boomer, even though I'm sure the glade ricochet would do well as well. Um, but, uh, the, the boomerang thrower with the ring of fire and the arctic wind can pop just about anything um well, i mean anything under a moab so ceramics and under um it can pop just about anything because the arctic wind itself is really powerful uh and then coupled with the ring of fire again really powerful and then of course the bind boomer just kind of throws the cherry on the top or whatever um the six uh balloon chippers especially on this track in this setup can definitely eat all the moabs um, and then I threw in some Glaive Lords on top of it just to get rid of like round 63 and 55 and 76 where it's just a huge clump of them. Um, the Glaive Rickshake can really help chew through that. 
Uh, and then I got the spike uh, factories and the two spike factories and the extra arctic wind or an arctic frost really um, as an extra safety net because I threw the arctic wind arctic frost thing there as well because then it slows down the blooms that are coming through there so that it gives them more time to be hit by the spike mines um, again just a safety net in case they did get through all the other defenses which at like one or two points they got to the safety net but they didn't obviously get very far into it um, uh, and then there I was just um, making it look a little nicer a little more um, organized and then I wanted to throw down the super monkey and I was like meh might as well use a temple for no real reason I would like if it was a little bit farther back but the tower the village um, range wasn't quite big enough then to rebuild all of my defenses that I had just spent um, and then I wanted to match it on each side so that the glaive lords and the, the balloon chippers would be on opposite sides or whatever um, and then I did kind of feel meh about the asymm asymmetry of the um, the boomerang thrower side and then the spike factory side but I figured it makes enough sense um, it's close enough uh, and then of course that was around 76 right there with the clump of uh, my labs that of course these towers are able to completely destroy specifically the uh, the temple the temple's really good and then i got the high energy bacon just because i had a bunch of money left over even though i didn't have the banana farms anymore so i had like 150,000, i think almost right there um what else uh and then of course i have the uh carpet spike carpet ability thing from the uh spike factory but it's like meh I'll just save it. Uh, and then here, I definitely could have bought some more Techno Terrors, but I kind of wanted the uh, the symmetry, sort of, of the um, level three on each side in the middle two sections, or middle four, I guess, and then the level four of each side on the other side. So basically, the Techno Terror, uh, Sun God, Sun God, um, and then Robo Monkey and all that. And then here, yay, I beat it and stuff. Um, and yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.